Welcome to Salakam University. This video's topic is Contour 3D. So the Contour 3D toolpath is basically a three-dimensional version of our profile toolpath in that uh, you just choose chain geometry and you tell your tool to follow that chain geometry, except in Contour 3D, it follows it in the third dimension. So that's a constant X, Y, Z travel. So let's take a look at that and we'll see how it works. So we'll go add milling operation, Contour 3D. The workflow is very similar to profile. We'll start by choosing a chain. I'm just gonna do this, this, uh, this back chamfer here. So I'm gonna start by choosing, let's say, this bottom edge. And I'm just gonna jump across to here using point to point. And then we'll just jump back across here. So normally if you were to do this in a profile, you would be riding along these chains in just a planar movement there, just an XY move there like you would in profile as per that projection. But in Contour 3D, it's actually gonna follow that line exactly. So we're gonna move in the third dimension. We're actually gonna chamfer that edge. So let's go into our tools. I'm just gonna grab a chamfer tool, go to levels. Levels are pretty much okay. I'm just gonna make sure that I, I drop it by, actually let's drop it only by 50 thou and technology. So I'm going to say tool side left. So you have the same options that you do in profile, center, right, or left. In this case, I'm going to go with left. We'll do a finishing pass. And I'm going to add a chamfer option on there. And we'll set the chamfering to a 50 thou diameter. Under link, I'll make sure I have a normal lead and lead out. So the workflow is actually the exact same as profile. You can see that I've chosen my lead and lead out. I've chosen which side of the chain I want to be on, my tool selection, geometry. The only thing that's really different here is that the geometry is understood to be exactly as it is, following that third dimension. I'll just do a save and calculate. We can see that I have a lead in, it goes up, cross, and it actually goes down. So that is following the chain exactly in the third dimension. Now let's say we wanted to do something like a tapered pocket like that. So in the two and a half D package, the only options we would have would be something like HSS or as we're gonna see here, Contour 3D. So I've actually went ahead and I sketched a center line of that pocket. So even though it's on a taper, it's got a nice definition there. I'm just gonna go, again, we'll go Contour 3D. The workflow is the same. I'm just gonna grab my chain. This time I'll grab my tool. So I went ahead and I measured this. It is a quarter inch ball on the bottom. So I'm gonna grab a quarter inch tool. Again, I'm just gonna grab the same thing. This time I'm gonna drop it by the radius of the tool. So I'll do one eighth. Tool side, I'll leave it at centered. And just like in profile, when we leave it at centered, we're not really gonna have an option of finish side or rough side because we're on the center. So those are grayed out. We have the ability to uh, use as a tool reference, either the tool tip, or the tool center. Now, even though I chose a chain that is maybe at the tool center, I'm gonna just show you that by lowering the level, this is an incremental amount from that chain. So when I generate this, it actually will take the tip of the tool and ride on the bottom of that pocket. Additionally, this is actually pretty deep. I don't wanna bury the tool there, so I can go to semi-finish and add a step down. And then obviously for link, let's just turn these off so we don't see any chains there. We'll do a save and calculate. And if we take a look at that, we can see that it is doing a step down. So there's my one eighth step down across that entire pocket. So we're still following that chain. If you take a look at it, we're still doing a chain on the bottom there. It's just, we're doing it in the third dimension as if it was a profile with the same parameters. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.